Hello everyone, myself Rajin Vagis Matthew and Jitin Thomas Philip, we the MBA students of MacPass College present the case study topic on UPS competes globally with information technology. This is the case summary. First question, what are the inputs, processing and outputs of UPS's package tracking system? First point inputs. The inputs include package information, customer signature, pickup, delivery, time card data, current location while on route, and billing and customer clearance documentation. Second point processing. The data is transmitted to a central computer and stored for retrieval. Data is also reorganized so that it can be tracked by customer account, date, driver, and other criteria. Third point outputs. The outputs include pickup and delivery times, location while on route, and package recipient. The outputs also include various reports such as all packages for a specific account or a specific driver or route, as well as summary reports for management. This is the image of data and processes. Second question, what technologies are used by UPS? How are these technologies related to UPS business strategy? Technologies include handheld computers, barcode scanning systems, wired and wireless communication networks, desktop computers, UPS central computer, large mainframe computers, and storage technology for the package delivery data. UPS also uses te telecommunication technologies for transmitting data through pages and cellular phone networks. The company uses in-house software for tracking packages, calculating fees, maintaining customer accounts, and managing logistics, as well as software to access the World Wide Web. Third question, what strategic business objectives do UPS's information system address? Some problems this information system solves relate directly to logistics and supply chain activities, not just for itself, but for but also for other companies. These services include supply chain design and management, freight forwarding, customs brokerage, mail services, multimodal transportation, and financial services, in addition to logistics services. Because of the advanced integration of its technology, UPS can provide these services cheaper and more efficient than most companies can create them in-house. Operation Excellence UPS has maintained leadership in small package delivery services despite stiff competition from FedEx and the US Postal System by investing heavily in advanced information technology, new products, services, and business models. In June 2009, UPS launched a new web-based post sales order management system that manages global service orders and inventory for critical parts fulfillment. The system enables high-tech electronics, aerospace, medical equipment, and other companies anywhere in the world that ship critical parts to quickly assess their critical parts inventory, determine the most optimal routing strategy to meet customer needs, place orders online, and track parts from the warehouse to, to the end user. Competitive advantage, UPS is leveraging its decades of expertise managing its own global delivery network to manage logistics and supply chain activities for other companies. Its supply chain solutions division provides a complete bundle of standardized services to subscribing companies at a fraction of what it would cost to build their own systems and infrastructure. Fourth question, what would happen if UPS's information systems were not available? There are four points. First point, customer or sender. If they were not available for the information system, the customer will decrease faster. Senders want to choose the good one which has high proof and information system and easy to understand the system. Second point, global delivery. For the another countries, it will be difficult to get their packages. They will not know how is going the packages. It means no information about the packages. Saving cost. Maybe it will be good to save to saving cost for the money. 
they do not need enough employees and machines. Last point, time losing. Those systems always give the man information about the packages. For the time, for the company, it is one of the advantage, but if they has nothing, then the company can lose that time. At last, UPS will not be success as today. Conclusion UPS's strategic aim, best service and lower, rate, lower rates. Its information technologies have a direct relationship to its efficiency. We understand efficiency to be the least input for the most output level. A lot of cost is saved through its fast information technology system. Its usage improves their competitive image. The speed improves customer loyalty. Thank you.